With COVID-19 cases increasing around the state, especially in and around Philadelphia, city and state health officials are highlighting the mandate to wear masks in public. Today, I have also strengthened the masking order that I first issued on April 15th. Wearing a mask is really one of the simplest steps that we all can take to slow the spread of COVID-19. It is critical. We wear masks whenever we are around other people to protect ourselves and protect those we love. In this order, masks are still required to be, made, to be worn indoors and outdoors. When indoors, masks will now be required anytime you are with people outside of your household, even if you are socially distant, more than six feet apart. This applies to every indoor facility, such as schools, gyms, doctor's offices, public transportation, anywhere food is prepared, packaged, or served. And this applies if you have people in your home who are not part of your household. As you have heard from health experts around the country and the world, as well as myself, masks are a simple yet very effective way to limit your exposure to COVID-19 and limit possibly exposing somebody else. Recent data from the CDC indicates that actually it protects you in addition to protecting somebody else. So you're both protected. We must all be diligent in wearing masks all the time. So according to our COVID response levels, I now declare that Philadelphia is moving into the all clear level effective immediately. This means that we will no longer be enforcing the indoor mask mandate in most settings. You'll still need to wear masks in schools, all schools, including public, private, archdiocese, and charter, and early child care, in healthcare settings, congregate living settings, and on public transit. For schools, we'll continue to watch and evaluate the data. If it continues to move in the right direction, we plan to end mandatory masking in schools on March 9th. In the day's other news, Philadelphia reinstated an indoor mask mandate for COVID-19, the first major U.S. city to do so. We're hearing mixed opinions tonight on a new law that allows Philadelphia police to fine people for wearing ski masks in specific public spaces. The masks are also known as pushaisties or balaclavas. I don't know why I don't want us to wear them over here. It's freezing out here, but I, I, me personally, I don't wear them, but I think they should let other people wear them. People like me that go to work and the other people that go to work, that early mornings and late nights, is, their faces are going to be cold. So I think certain times it shouldn't be banned, but then yeah, it should be banned. The list includes SEPTA, where masks were already banned, parks, schools, daycare centers, and city-owned buildings. Just two weeks ago, city council voted 13 to 2 passing the legislation. It was sponsored by council member Anthony Phillips, who said it could aid police in solving crimes. Mayor Jim Kenney did not veto or sign the legislation, which in turn became law. ACLU attorney Solomon F. World said this in testimony two weeks ago. Safety is important, but there's no evidence to suggest that ski masks cause or encourage violent crime. And today he told 6ABC he is disappointed, saying it adds a target on the backs of black and brown people. Sure, sure, sure. I don't think it's a white or black thing. You have someone with a ski mask on, and so your nerves start, you know, the adrenaline start pumping, and you don't know they're going to rob you, or you don't know if it's just a regular a high school kid or someone that's really cold. And Rick, it should be noted that there are exceptions for religious requirements. You're sure of it because people are listening really no, closely to this. Right now, people should not be walking. There's no reason to be walking around with a mask. When you're in the middle of an outbreak, wearing a mask might make people feel a little bit better and it might even block a, a droplet, but it's not providing the perfect protection that people think that it is. Okay. So again, Minimal, at least one mask, likely a double ply type of mask would be good. So one of the ways you could do it, if you would like to, is put a cloth mask over. Well, let me just state for the record that masks are not theater. Masks are protective. Wearing a mask might make people feel a little bit better, and it might even block a, a droplet. 